Cooper is currently three months old and is here at Duskland Dogs today to learn all about handling and getting prepped so that in the future he can be groomed happily and safely. I'm going to start off just by feeding him some treats on the table so that he learns really cool stuff happens when he stands on the table. When he's comfortable with that and let him walk around a little bit, make him realize that there's an edge there, then I'm going to start handling him. I'm going to touch his ears, I'm going to touch his tail, and I'm going to touch his paws and under his mouth so that eventually the groomer can hold him and restrain him without any worries. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just slightly guide him off the edge, but pick him up to teach him that there is an edge there. Good boy. I'm going to try that all around the table so that he doesn't try to jump. Yes, good boy. But knows that there's boundaries. Now the important thing is once he goes back on the table, I give him a treat so that he doesn't have negative associations with the table. But I do want him to know that there's a threshold there. If he shows a little bit of avoidance towards the edges, I'm actually okay with that because I want him to know that it's safe for him to stay in the middle, not on the edge. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Yes. The important thing is I don't want to freak him out. I don't want him to be fearful. I want him to learn that being on the table is really cool, but at the same token, I don't want him to launch himself off either. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Then what I'm going to start doing now that he's quite comfortable with the table is I'm going to touch his ears and tell him ears and feed him a treat. There you go, good boy. I'm going to touch the other ear. Ears, maybe flip it over, look inside of it, give him a treat. And I might even stick my finger slightly in his ear, ears, because eventually having poodle coat in there, his ears might need to be plucked. So I want him to get used to handling inside the ears as well. Boy, I'm going to go all the way down the tail. Yes, good boy. And then I'm going to touch his paws and go paw, pick up a paw. I'm going to touch a back paw, paw, pick up a paw. Good boy. I'm going to feed him throughout this process. He's a puppy, so he needs to know that really cool stuff happens every time he's being handled. Paw. Good boy. Good boy. Now, especially for breeds like this, he's going to have to have his feet trimmed and beneath the pads shaved. So I really want him to get used to and be okay with the fact that I'm messing not only with his foot, but also between the toes. Now if he's showing resistance like he is there, I'm just going to hold the foot until he gives up. When he gives up, I'm going to give him a treat and let the foot go. Now this is a puppy, so it's a really good time to introduce um, some slight handling and some resistance training as well. You might not want to do that with an older dog, but with a puppy as young as him, you can teach him straight away that if you resist or if you pull away, I'm not going to let go of that foot until you give up. Yes, good boy. That way the dog doesn't struggle to get free, the dog actually relaxes. Good boy. Then I'm going to try the mouth. Mouth. I'm going to start just by lifting his lips, getting him used to that. Good boy. Mouth. I open up the mouth, I give him a treat, and he's a bit hesitant there as well. Mouth. Yes, good boy. I want to make sure that I'm delivering the food the same time that I'm handling him. I don't want to deliver the food afterwards or he might associate the removal of the handling as the reward. I want to make sure that it happens simultaneously. Now with the mouth, if he backs off, I'm going to take my hands away and be like, fine, you can back off, but I'm not going to give you that treat until you tolerate the handling. Eventually that tolerance will turn to acceptance. Cooper. sides of the table just to make sure that he can be handled from all directions. That way I can better prove him being on the table. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Now if he's hesitant like he is here, he's constantly dipping away from me touching, what I might do is I might cut my hand and keep the treat and lift him up so that he has to touch my hand to take the treat. Just like that. I make a V shape with my hand, take the treat, put it right on his nose, and lift his nose up so that he has to make contact. 
And it's a choice. The only way he gets the cookie is if he makes contact with my hand. Oh, boy. Come on. Yes. Yes, good. good. I'll accept that. Ready? Yes. Yes, good boy, there you go. And in this case, with the muzzle behavior, because he is hesitant, I can use that yes marker to let him know, yep, that's correct, we want you to touch our hand with your muzzle. Good boy, ready? That again. Cooper. Yes, good boy, good boy. Good boy, there you go. Now the next thing I'm going to do, now that he's slightly ready with the table, I'm going to start restraining him. I might just start holding him in a brace and wait for him to stop struggling if he does, which he's starting to protest a little bit. He stops struggling, I will let him go. But he needs to learn that wiggling around will actually not get him out of this restraint. Now, I'm not pushing hard on him. It's very gentle. It's literally just to restrain him. I'm not trying to crush him. Yes, good boy, but I want him to learn that fighting it will not get him out of it. I'll try it from the other side. And I go under the belly and across the chest. Nope. Ah uh ah. -uh. Ah uh ah. -uh. Yes, good boy. Right there, he gave up. And I immediately let go. I say yes to let him know that's what I want him to do. Now this is a puppy, this is not a dog who has a history of fear or aggression, so in his case, using that technique works very well. For a dog that is fearful or has had bad experience at the groomer or veterinarians, you might not want to overdo it and flood them with this type of method because it might actually exacerbate the problem. You might have to take multiple steps to get your dog used to handling and use a lot more reward-based training. Good boy. 